And welcome everybody to Shackham Gaming in episode 19 of Everspace 2. We are gonna start this episode with a side mission. The concession, I guess. No talent acquisition in this. Let me quickly remind you what this is about. Daryl says that if I do some smaller favors, I get, could get a task for a higher reward. Yes, doesn't get simpler than that, I guess. All right, we have marked it on the map. Let's get going. Back to Starcot. No, Starcot. Starcot is not a thing. Prescott Starbase, we head. In some instances, yes. Yet, there are other instances where I am required to remain distant in order to protect my operational integrity. So emotions can overcome you, is what you're saying. Hive units have been known to overload in emotionally distressing situations and experience something akin to a nervous breakdown. Yes. Interesting. Yes, emotional machines. <laughs> Man, we've had a lot of emotional machines in some of the recent, uh, you know, live streams we played. Through Detroit Become Human, by the way, for anybody who's uh, interested in those kinds of gameplays. Man, that was a good story. Didn't really enjoy the gameplay sometimes. Very finicky camera work and whatnot. But damn, the story was good. Alright, now hold on, where do we need to go? Uh, hold on. Shucking getting confused here. We need to go to Prescott. Well, yeah. I know it's Prescott Starbase. Which, uh, <laughs> which station is it from? Oh man. <laughs> Pick a job from the Kato clan. Alright, hold on. Uh, if it's the Kato clan, it's gotta be the Kato palace, right? I hope. <laughs> man, an extra symbol. Indicating I have a mission there would be nice. Hold on. Is there actually... Oh, yeah, there is an extra mission symbol. See? <laughs> ah, there it is. Let's go. Cool. Alright, so now the mission says pick a job from the Kato clan. Nobody's talking to me, so I guess I'm gonna pick one on my own. Alright, all those are from Kato clan, which is the nearest. 25, destroy a base. Sure. Give me that. I could take a few more, let me see. Uh, I'm gonna do the Sidman job as well, it's just two light sec- light seconds? Two light seconds? Is that like, right where I am? Nah, in any case, that should be enough. Oh no, I have to finish- oh, I have to finish two jobs, see? Good thing that I actually took two of them. <laughs> All right, where is the first one? Let me quickly see. Check this out. All right, so both of them are quite close, and that is by design. The Kato Hitman is right here, right next to us. The other one is over there. Destroy the base. Let's go for this one first, obviously. Two jobs for Kato. And then we get the big jobs, I guess. And we have arrived. Are you absolutely certain the targets provided to you by Kato are legitimate? I trust him enough not to have me shooting up innocents. All right, I'm guessing. Uh, let's get to the trading hub. Scan freelancerships until you identify the target. All right, hold on. Let's scan some freelancerships. Give me a better weapon. Let's actually speed this up a bit. Which one's the closest? Hold on. Man, those clouds, I cannot see anything. Can I scan this guy? How do I scan you? Oh, I have to be just very, very close. Match? Oh, yes. We got him. Tell Kato to go stuff himself. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's going away, hold on. Man, that, that gun that I'm sporting right now cannot shoot for crap. Oh, can you stop it? Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna just neutralize them. Let's get out of here. No, wait, wait, wait. Is done. 
Mr. Kato has asked me to yeah, extend his thanks. Well, they're quite far away, but... You know what, I'm gonna have some fun. There you go. How does that feel, compadre? Oh, in any case, uh, Spanish stuff as aside. Let's get out of here now. Oh, shoot. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. We're out. All right, let's just head into space. Then I'm gonna pick the correct direction. The important thing is don't let the enemies catch up with me. All right, now, hold on. Map time. What is the symbol? I am wanted. <laughs> I need to pay a bounty to come back here. Really? Interesting. Nice. I didn't know that that, 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 that thing was in the game. That you get bounty. In any case, let's go over here. Maybe that bounty goes away over time. You know what? I'm gonna let this, uh, you know, go away naturally or something. In the meantime, second job. Man, that's what you get for working for a criminal, I guess, right? You get on the bad side of the law. <laughs> right, who, am, who am I gonna... This is the base I gotta bring down. Who am I gonna piss off this time? It's gonna be outlaws, right? Alright, let's kill these guys first. Yeah, don't, don't crush your ship, Shaq. <laughs> that would be ideal. Ah, uh, you were easy. Well, you're not that easy. Why is he not going down? Like, look at him. Jesus Christ, come on. You know what? Hold on. No, not that one. I win this one. Yes. Ah, uh, let's give him a virus. Should I give him a virus? Yes. Have a virus, sir. And goodbye. Oh, do I have still the missiles on my on my butt? Yes. Hold on. Where are they? Ah, uh, they're gone. Give me some stuff. Anybody still left alive? Yeah, you're too far away. Where's my base? What am I destroying? Oh, I got a good shield though. Hold on, let me quickly go and equip that maybe. Eh, it wasn't that good after all. Ah, in any case. What, what, what am I killing? Hold on, let me find my bearings. Oh, I think I found it. Yes, found the base. Well, the base found me actually. <laughs> yes. Now kill that damn missile. That turret is, immor is immortal. Yes. It is done. Let's kill the equipment. Hold on, my switch weapons. It is so relaxing killing bases. They do spawn enemy ships from time to time, though, so you know, gotta be on your toes. Did they hear a ship spawn? That's my imagination. And the final two ones. Excellent. Oh, well, now the, uh, the, the enemy boss spawns, though. Have some virus. Yes. Did I upload the virus? Yes. As is evident by the, uh, by the crash. Where are you going? Marianne? I'm listening, Mr. Roslin. I got that job done for you guys. That is very good. Thank you. You are welcome. Let me claim my rewards real quick. Excellent. This one as well. Thank you. Alright, and now I guess we just gotta go back, right? Am I still on bounty here? No, the bounty is gone. See? Told you, if you wait out, you're good. Ah, uh, where are we going? There you are. Kind of curious to see what the bigger job is now. Although it's coming from Daryl, and you know we don't know, we do not like Daryl. We don't even like to talk about Daryl. He almost got us killed. He's the the the, the, the boss's juvenile right hand, I guess you could say. Now uh, which one's the Kato? There, there it is. Hey, what is this? What's going on over here, boyos? Atlas in my region? Come on. That cannot be true. 
All right, any case, Pedro Palace, here we come. Almost crashed into it. Welcome back, Mr. Roslin. Mr. Cato would like a moment of your time, if you'll wait just a moment. So long as I don't have to deal with that jerk. Tell Uncle K, I've got it, toots. Oh, no. So I did some favors from the job board. What's next? Hey, now, no need to get testy. I've got good news for you. Mr. Cato is pleased with your recent work. Why can't he tell me himself? He doesn't have time to personally deal with every hotshot who floats our way. But he has asked for you to handle something that requires a little more discretion and compensates correspondingly. I'm listening. A simple task, retrieval of a valuable asset. What is it? Not it. She. Codename Clockwork and the best damn safe cracker in a business. Okay, so when you say discretion, you obviously want this asset to remain on the hush. Obviously. But we got word the Okar authorities are interested in her whereabouts. She poached from the wrong dirty aliens. She's been hiding out, but our sources say they're getting close. Don't you have a way to warn her? She shut down long-range comms to avoid detection. I'm not so sure I want to start messing with the Okar authorities. It's an in-and-out job. If you're fast enough, you should get there before them. We need you because your ship ain't tied to our organization. I hope I don't regret this. At the first sign of trouble, I'll bail. It won't come to that. Like I said, it's in and out. Now or more likely you're setting up a trap for me. Man, I don't like the fact that I'm not talking to straight to the big boss. That means he's doing it on the side. <laughs> uh, which means the big boss is gonna either end up killing him or killing me. I don't like my chances 50-50 here. In any case, uh, let's see, where does this take me now? Alright, so Volta Nebula all the way down there. You know what, I must swing by, do a quick side mission and I'll rejoin you once I'm close to this. Kato's minion is hardly a reliable source. You believe you can undertake this operation without the Okar discovering you? Like he said, in and out. Let's find this codename Clockwork and make the extraction. Hive isn't confident either. <laughs> oh, this is not gonna go well, is it? Alright, and we are nearly there. Time to place your bets. Gentlemen, is this gonna be indeed an in and out operation? <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see how bad this goes. It's not gonna go well, just, you know. Let's find out how bad. Who would have thought we're actually on time? No sign of the Okar. Better make haste before the current state changes. Alright, where is my where's my objective? Alright, somewhere over there. Let's get to it. Can you hear me? I was sent by the family. Who is this? Do I know you? Not yet. I was sent by Kato. Well, honestly, it was that jackass Daryl. Jackass? You clearly don't know Daryl. Look, uh, we don't have the time to discuss Daryl's characteristics right now. The Okar are about to arrive. The Okar? Why would the Okar... Oh. Shima part that shit, you weren't lying. Why would I? Daryl, on the other hand, promised me an easy in and out. Guess I can forget about that. I sure as hell don't want to end up in an Okar dungeon. Hive, block our ship's signature. The Okar mustn't be able to track what is about to happen. This would be the right time to consider certain life choices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already did. <laughs> but, uh, suppressors, what am I doing now? Defeat the, defeat the Okar? Uh, okay. Boys! Have some lead. I'm playing this a bit, uh, you know, defensively here. <laughs> hiding me, hiding, you know. Hold on, is it just one guy now remaining? Is it like the big, uh, the big ship? Yes. Can the big ship even see me? Come on. <laughs> I'ma make it interesting on my own, damn it. Let's go. Have some viruses. And down. You didn't even fire back, big ship. Come on. Mm, 
All right. I think that's all of them. For now, there'll be more. Get the hell out of here. Where are you? Gratitude would be nice. Put my neck on the line for you. I'll be sure to thank Dell when I see him. Charming. You're leaving? Adam, I must yet again apologize for my nephew. Is it true he sent you off on another one-way mission? Yep. It's all taken care of. I think there's something between him and this clockwork. Oh, this was about her. Yeah, there's a spark of interest going on there. At least the boy has an interest. <laughs> I'll need proper payment for this, Kato. I jeopardized my standing with the Okar. I'll set it right. The important thing is that everyone is safe. We could always use a true gen like you. Do some more favors for us, and we'll watch your back. I'll check in on the job board when I get the chance. All right, mission completed. And you know what? I think we have time to do something interesting. Look at what I've acquired here. A union signal decoder. These are the things that spawn bosses, by the way. And this is a legendary one, a superior one. Let's activate this. It should give me quite a few goodies, but also, you know, it's going to be a pain in the butt to beat, probably. <laughs> All right, spawned right next to us as well. So let's get to it. Oh, level 16, it's right on my level. That is not gonna be easy. The previous time I had trouble with one that was like one level below myself. So I'm not sure that I'm looking forward to this one. I've been detected. Right, so once again, defeat enough enemies to spawn the boss. You can see the meter on the upper right part. And we have special conditions for this one. Each time I kill somebody, they leave a trail of acid. And also, each time I kill somebody, everybody else heals. For the enemies, of course. So I gotta focus on one enemy and one enemy only every time. Oh, this guy is not going down, Jesus. Right. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! I'm almost there. What the hell was that? Oh yeah! I forgot to say they explode on death. That's what happened. Man, I forgot about that condition. Yes. So I gotta be careful, you know, not to uh, get extremely too close to them. All right. Give me a target. There we go. Focus on him exclusively now. I'm gonna take the patient approach, which means lots of snapping. I need to regain uh, some of my missed armor right now. Alright, Julio. How are we doing with the boss spawn? Man, not well. There's a lot of them. I'll try to back circle. That means going backwards and circling at the same time. It's kind of sweet of, that, of a tactic because you all do not get outside of the zone. If you get outside of the zone, it respawns you right next to the enemies, by the way. That's why I do not like that happening. And also, you keep your distance and can keep snapping them, which is another class of this method. Oh man, he's regenerating armor like crazy. Come on, man. Oh, he's smart. He's going backwards. <laughs> nice towards his bodies. That was a good tactic. If he only had kept doing that. Oh, I got a sniper on my butt again. Oh, let me kill this guy. Where's the sniper? Yep, I snapped you first. <laughs> oh, man, we're not even midway through spawning the boss. What is bad? What? I don't know why, why he's complaining about it. We're doing well. We're midway through spawning the boss fight. We're in full health. I mean, he should be happy. <laughs> Man, this is gonna be a big pool of acid when I'm done with it. These guys are keeping their distance though. That is not smart. I mean, especially when they explode in my face. They should be like... You know, rushing towards me. But I'm not here to give free advice to the enemies. Damn it, I'm here to destroy them. 
That's what we'll do. Good thing is sometimes when you're overwhelmed by enemies, you know, if you fill up the boss fight meter, once again on the right side of the screen, everybody disappears at once. That has gotten me out of quite some tough situations. Well, I'm itching to go close in for a fight, but I kind of want to preserve my health. And these guys explode, so it would not be wise. I'm gonna keep my distance. I know this is the boring way to do fights, but bear with me. Smart is boring. <laughs> Plenty of time, so right, let me recharge this weapon. Ah, god damn it, this guy is close, but I do not want to hit anybody else. Oh, you know what? He needs to go on an attack. Just don't get too close to them. Because they explode, remember. Yeah, I'm gonna lose my shields very soon. Yeah, you know what? I'm out of here. Shields lost. This, uh, this is not... Yeah, see, I'm approaching the boundary. This is not an area for heroes. This is a time to be smart. Oh, hold on. God damn it. Why is it so tough to hit these guys sometimes? Oh, wow, wow, I'm dead. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? These guys pack a punch. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Uh, get away, get away, get away. Oh, and I don't have anything that recharges my armor. I only have stuff that recharges my hull. Uh, are, are we far enough? Can I... Jesus, are we far enough? This guy right on my case. Are you kidding me? Where the hell does he stay that close? And I cannot hit him to save my life. All right, I'm gone. I'm gone. Let's go this way. And when I say I'm gone, I'm not really gone. You know, I'm just putting some distance. Jesus, he's not losing anything. Look at, look at his health not going down. Do I have a secondary weapon to help my cause? No, I don't. I have the missiles, but these ones, you know, go straight. I reserve them for boss fights. Man. All right, and this is resetting me because I'm out of bounds. This is not going to go well. Now, oh, you know what? Come on, come on, come on. Since now I'm close to him anyway. He's not losing health. Look at him. Can you die already? Please, Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm gone, I'm gone. I'm almost dead. That one guy I've been... <laughs> I've been trying to kill him like like for ages. Die, please. Outlaw Tormentor. He's on my level. Why is he so tough to kill? Well, we are on a special high difficulty area. So I guess, you know, if, if, if there's any time for things to get tough, I guess this is it. Yeah, this is going to take some time. How close to spawning the boss fight? I'm not even extremely close. These guys are definitely bullet sponges. Come on, die already. <laughs> Alright, let this recharge a bit. And go. By the way, I can charge this weapon. You know, it fires a more powerful shot if I charge it. But I have found out it is not worth it. Like. It's better you keep burst firing like this. You know, eventually you end up doing more damage more quickly than trying to, you know, load this up to full power. It only gets off a few, like a few shots if you load it up, so you know. It's a common tactic by many players, I guess, with this game, according to what I've read. I'm going to slightly go backwards.
And by slightly, I mean extremely, obviously. Is he close? No, he's not that close. All right, cool. And still keep doing what I'm doing. Come on, die, man. There you go, Jesus Christ. Wow, this guy does not have, yes, any protection, so we are good. This guy has everything. So he's gonna take a while, I'm guessing. Uh, since we have some time, I guess, here, it's a good time to remind you guys how the uh, how the gunplay works. We have like two kinds of damage we can do. Energy and kinetic. Energy, obviously, as is usually the case with most games, good against shields. And then kinetic is good against hulls or the armor. This is what I'm trying to, uh, you know, kill right now, the yellow line on this guy. The sniping gun, it's a bit better for shields. It does okay against hull as well, as you can see, but not very good for armor. Bad thing is, I do not want to, you know, engage... Oh, shoot, Jesus Christ. Who is so close to me? Oh, this guy. Okay, hold on, hold on. Approaching boundary again, god damn it. Can you die? There you go. Uh, you know what? No, I'm, I'm gonna go right through them. I also engaged my thing there. Hopefully they're gonna be incapacitated for a few more seconds. Wow, what the hell is happening? This resetted me twice. I don't know why. Uh, where's the closest one? Still far away. That is... Oh, hold on. That's not the closest one. This one is... Oh, shoot. Alright, uh, throw some grenades at him. Is he slow enough? Can I, like, use some rockets? I don't think I can. Alright, uh, hold on. You got shields. I'm gonna throw them down. And then I'm gonna finish you off with this. God damn it, these guys are killing me! Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Alright, I'm gonna incapacitate him for a bit while I'm running away. I'm gonna run away. Alright, now I got shields again. Shoot, Jesus Christ! I'm approaching boundary again, but who cares at this point? Jesus, how close to this to the boss one? Maybe that will save me. Alright, grenades. Throw grenades. How close to my shield losing? I'm gone. And I, wow, Jesus, look at this guy. I was rushing through them. He still managed to almost take me out. Man, I'm gonna go into a boss fight without any armor. I just need to accept that, I guess. Why right, can we spawn the freaking boss? Come on, one more enemy. I think one more enemy. Why right, can I now? I'ma switch to the good secondary guns. Wow, right, where's the boss? Where's the boss? Where's the boss? Can I take him out fast? Where is he, god damn it? He's spawning still. Oh, there he is. My lead destroyer. Start approaching. I'm gonna try to, to end this fight before anybody else can join. I'll preserve some of my thrusters. He's gonna start shooting at me at three point something, probably. Alright. Shoot, shoot. Take some of his armors down, get closer. Alright, I'm not losing too much shield yet. That is good. Keep circling. Alright, now I'm almost in range for my grenades. Let's start unleashing those. He's running away. He's running towards his body. Oh, that is not good. You know what? Uh, throw... Throw the kitchen sim now, come on. Full power up. And you're done, come on. Yes. I'm gonna pull away a bit. The other enemy should go now, right? I mean once they're headless, yes. Whew. Alright, that was fun. That was fun, I guess. Hopefully we get some good little you know what? I was about to end the episode right now, but you know what? This was the toughest fight. This, let's see together what we actually take for this. Uh, give me everything. 
Let's see if this boss fight was actually worth it. Well, we did get a superior catalyst to start with. I don't know if I've ever talked to you guys about, you know, the categories in here. You know what? Let's do a quick primer, even though this episode is already running long. You all, we obviously have primary, secondary weapons modules, which are like shields and stuff. Consumables, you know, increase your health and whatnot. Components, uh, we don't talk about components, we don't care about them. And catalysts, which are super expensive, but they also, you know, uh, make weapons better, like give them more fire rate, more range and things like that. Especially the one that gives more range is very useful. But I'm not going to spend any money on them. Once I, once I reach, you know, the max level, which is 30, I think, then I must start spending, you know, things, you know, money on these things. Uh, let's see if we got anything interesting here. Eh, we don't get much. But you know what, I'm, I'm gonna switch out some things. We get a bit more armor for this. Why not? We get, oh, we get some more, uh, you know, cargo units and whatnot. Some more firepower, I guess. Ah, that is good as well. Oh, some more shields. Yeah, sure, why not? Give me that. And I'm gonna switch primary weapon. I don't feel like this is able to hit anything anymore. Like, even when I'm close range, it feels like I'm missing. This has less firepower, but it should be a bit more easier to, uh, you know, to handle. Alright, and with that in mind, I guess that is gonna do it for this episode, boyos. Thanks for watching. This is my new weapon. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> this looks mean. Love it. Fine, you're gonna see more of it in the next episode. Thanks for watching, boys. See ya.